I'm sure this has happened to you recently. Um, have you ever been talking to someone or like with a group and a TV show comes up, some TV I don't show? Like what they did on Casual. On what? Casual, the show. Never heard of that. Are you serious? It's huge. Really? On where? Hulu. Then people start insisting that you have to see whatever show that you is. You ain't never seen Casual, bro? Wow. Yo, you gotta watch it. You're gonna like it. Is it really that good? Yeah. What's it about? It's just a comedy about this dude and his sister. It's kind of like random, but... So then you half-heartedly agree to watch, you know, the show because they love it so much. I guess I'll check it out then. Which is a lie. You're not gonna watch the show. You're just saying that because you're in polite conversation. Somebody recommends a show to me nine times out of ten, I'm not gonna watch it. I'm just going from experience. This is regardless of the show. I'm not knocking whatever show you like. I'm sure it's a great show. I perfectly understand the feeling of watching a show and loving it and immediately wanting to spread the word and tell everybody that you're close to to watch it. It makes sense. But honestly, ain't nobody got time for that. Especially in 2017 because there's too many just too much media in general, too many shows. Too I only have limited attention. And I want to be fair, uh, because we do live in like this media saturated world, everybody's competing for attention. It might seem kind of hypocritical for me to complain about too much media while at the same time being a YouTuber person who makes videos. Because I do like when people share my videos and all that stuff. But this is just a YouTube video. This is just something that's taking up a couple minutes of your time. Not too much time to watch. Um, on the other hand, Stranger Things and 13 Reasons Why on Netflix will take you 17 hours to watch, and that's just the first seasons. And no, I haven't seen either of those shows. I'm still on season two of Game of Thrones and I don't even know if I'm gonna finish that one anytime soon. At this point, um, if you recommend a TV show for me to watch on wherever, I'm automatically thinking of the things that I'm gonna have to give up in order to make that time. Like maybe there's another show that I'm already watching that somebody else already recommended me like a week ago. Maybe I like playing video games or watching YouTube or sleeping, which Netflix has publicly stated is its number one competitor. That's kind of aggressive, isn't it? I mean, I understand getting like addicted to a show and then staying up all night to watch it, but if Netflix actively wants you to not get enough sleep at night, that's not healthy. I want my audience to have a full eight hours of sleep, seven, whatever, six, whatever, a healthy night's sleep, please get it. You know, I'm not even really that upset, I don't think, about people recommending shows because it's just natural, you know? Just don't come up to me like, yo, you gotta see this show, you got to, bro. Actually, there was another show that I was seeing last week. No, no, I don't have to watch it. I don't. There's way too many shows. There's not enough time. I've got a pretty good handle on how I manage my screen time as it is. Thank you very much. I'm sure your show is great. I'm sure it is. I just don't care that much. It's not you, it was me. So that's that. Uh, thanks for watching. Also, speaking of shows, have you guys seen Black Mirror? It's amazing. <laughs>